Welcome back to Wanderlusting Lawyer. I've been reading about this pretty intense heat wave going on over in Europe, particularly in France and in Spain. And it makes me really grateful that I did my Camino last year when they actually were having record lows. Um, probably 60 degrees several of the days I was walking around Lyon. Um, but I figured it would be a good time to talk about the best headwear for the Camino de Santiago. And I have a couple recommendations. I know some people are hat people, uh, others are not. I think I have a good um, compromise solution. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I used. Um, and I have worn one of the things I used, not this one, but it's a buff headband. I know a lot of people love these for a lot of different reasons. You can put it around your neck if it's chilly, your eyes as a sleep mask, um, your ears, your wrist. I like to wear mine as a headband. I'm not really a hat person, uh, and I only wore a hat a handful of times on the Camino. That said, I do have a good option for you, but I this was what I wanted on my head every day. It absorbs a ton of sweat. Um, I thought it was cute. Uh, it's easy to wash, easy to dry. This is actually the one that I used, and this is what they look like. This one was called, I think, insect shield or insect repellent shield or something. Um, so it came, I think, pre-treated. I'm sure it's not there now with the number of times I've washed it. I don't know if it helped keep bugs away. Uh, I My ankles got bitten a lot. I got no bed bugs, so I don't really know, but I just pretty much like the design. The one thing I will say is it can be, it can feel a little narrow at first. Um, it's not, you know, super stretchy, but if you try to stretch it out a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't give you a headache, I I just highly recommend the buffs. I like them a lot um, and they're really versatile. So, however, if you do want a hat, I think I found the best uh, multi-purpose hat you can buy. So, uh, most people say to get one that covers your neck or a wide brim hat. Um, this one, I think, is a great option. It is by Sunday afternoons. Um, I think I got it at REI. And what I love about it is that if you need to cover your neck, which um, actually this time of year is really important because the sun is typically behind you, um, you have this piece, but it also snaps off easily. Um, so that if you don't want to wear it, you don't have to. Um, and then it comes through this piece as I take this off. So there were a couple of things I really liked about this hat. Um, I mean, the Camino is not a fashion statement, but I did want to look okay. And I thought that just the general style of the hat, it was more baseball hat like, but the coolest thing about this hat is it, the brim actually folds. So what I would do is I just kept this in my stash pouch of my backpack. Um, I would have preferred just a baseball hat if we're talking about looks, but that would be hard to store. So uh, I highly recommend this style of hat because like I said, I think you get the best of both worlds. I, maybe it was 20 or $25 hat. Um, and it also has you know nice air vents to keep your head cooler. Um, this is adjustable. And what I ended up doing was actually uh, what it would be, I only really wore this, the the one and a half times it rained. Um, put it over my head and then put my jacket hood up so that it was like an extra protection for my, a layer of protection for my face against the rain. And then one more thing, this is not a piece of headgear, but since we're talking heat waves and staying cool in the Camino, I highly recommend getting some type of towel. Um, this one, let me I got this at, I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's travel on um, and it's a cooling towel so you actually get it wet you snap it a few times and it creates a cooling sensation um, you can dunk it in any of the water sources you find and then I would just actually instead of the neck protector from my hat I would just keep this around my neck and you know keep it nice and wet and cold to keep help keep me cool down on the very uh, limited number of hot days we got at the, the beginning of the Camino, actually about this time, the end of June. Um, so I think, and then I would just, you know, keep it, tuck it in my backpack or keep it on the side when I wasn't using it. So I highly recommend getting some type of very lightweight towel uh, that will help keep you cool. So those are my recommendations for headwear and I hope you guys stay cool out there.